This first simulation shows a 2.2 kilometer object impacting 30 kilometer ice. The transient cavity is quite deep, about 11 and a half kilometers, but the 30 kilometer thick ice layer is not penetrated. The crater floor rebounds and this structure evolves to form a final crater about 43 kilometers across with a depth just under three kilometers. In the second simulation, a 2.9 kilometer impactor hits 20 kilometer thick ice. The transient cavity here is almost 18 kilometers deep, less than the ice depth, so the impact does not penetrate to the ocean. But as time goes on, structural disruption and impact-induced melting result in creation of a water-filled conduit from the surface all the way to the underlying ocean. The end result here is a broad, flat feature that does not resemble a crater. In this final simulation, a 1.5 kilometer impactor hits 10 kilometer ice. The transient cavity is 10.2 kilometers deep, so the initial impact punctures the ice fully with full mixing between the surface and the ocean. The final surface expression of the impact is not a crater, but a wide area that would be filled with refrozen water and debris, possibly resembling chaos terrain.